Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Cam Tries Food. Cam Tries Food. So this episode, very exciting, is our 20th episode. Oh, can you believe it? Uh, thank you to the two people who keep watching. Very, very appreciated. Uh, this one goes out to you. So, uh, this week we are coming in again with another snack surprise box. And this week it is Austria. Is that reverse for you? I don't know. It says Austria. It's an Austrian flag. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing this week. I've been to Austria. Um, yes, I have been to Austria. And I don't think I tried any of these things here. I think I had a McDonald's and some schnitzel. So there you go. Now is the time to experience Austria. So let's get a wee look at what we're going to be trying today. So first up we have Kelly's Snips. Oh, look at the focus changing. That's pretty cool. There the focus. Now it's me. Uh, Kelly Snips, which are Austrian grown corn meets the delicious taste of peanuts in this light and fluffy snack. The lightest way to enjoy peanuts. They look like Watsits. Potentially Watsit flavoured. No, peanut flavoured Watsits. Uh, we've also got Draggy Kexy, which is crunchy biscuits covered in delicious chocolate. They have enjoyed great popularity since the 1960s. They sound pretty good. Um, then we'll have a little drink to break things up. It is... Yes. Which is an Alm Duddler. Cheeky wee Alm Duddler. Uh, which is Austria's most popular national drink. Unmistakable. Refreshingly tasty. Refreshing taste of natural alpine herbs since 1957. So we'll see what that's like. No idea what it'll be like. That sounds a bit weird, quite honestly. And a Bobby Caramel, which, Bobby. Uh, caramel cream sprinkled with wheat, rice crisps and coated with milk chocolate. This iconic bar created in 1967. No, 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 that sounds pretty exciting. So let's get tore into it. That's the snips open. <laughs> they, I like the smell of peanuts, but that's oh, too much peanut smell. And then it looks like a what's it? I'm gonna be close up. Look at that. That's not focusing on it. There we go. Looks bogging. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's mad. It's literally a what's it or something. And then they've just made it taste of peanuts. No, oh, I didn't need that in my life. There was no need to mix those two things. Peanuts and what's it don't need to be mixed. They're they're the same. They're different things and they don't need to be the same. Oh, that's mental. Yeah, they've mixed those for no reason. I don't know why. So those don't need to exist, and I don't know why they. I don't know why they exist. And quite frankly, I'm a bit annoyed that they exist. Um, they taste fine. They just, if I wanted peanuts, I'd get peanuts. I don't know why I'm having them in this form. So, we'll give them. Please focus. Four out of ten. Uh, Quite a low score, but let's change back biscuits out. Um, yeah, four out of ten. Mm, not great. Shut up, Rachel. It's Rachel's voice telling Jerry that she's got biscuits. Don't need it. Shh. Interrupting my video. Anyway, we'll move on. We're going for the draggy kexy. Which are crunchy biscuits covered in delicious chocolate, which can only be better than the 
snips of the snakes. Ooh. There they are. Let's give these a go. They look like little Terry's chocolate orange segments or something. It does look a bit like dark chocolate, which I don't like, so. Those have the potential to be very good, but they're dark chocolate. Why is everybody going, just put milk in your milk chocolate? I understand this isn't milk chocolate, and I've said a wrong thing there. That's what I think, because they're potentially very good. I would fire through those if they weren't tasting so strongly of dark chocolate. Is there are different types? Hold on. Hold on. I think they're different. Yes. There's milk chocolate and there's dark chocolate. A couple of milk chocolates. Yeah, they're good. Hmm. Probably... Those are tasty. Those are comfortably a 7 out of 10. But because there's dark chocolate in it, and that's going to ruin it for you. For me, anyway. Um, I'll knock it down the mark. 6 out of 10. Oh, it's kind of like a 6. It's like a light biscuit covered in chocolate. And milk chocolate one, very good. Dark chocolate one, very bad. That's the, that's the review here. One very good, one very bad. So a six out of ten. Not bad. Now we've got Austria's most popular national drink. Alm Dudler. <laughs> With a couple of happy people on it. Feel them. It's the Alm Dudler drink. I'm getting no smell. No. Um, that door smells of nothing. It is original flavour. So, whatever that means. what that tastes like. Is it getting English on here? UK. Just natural alpine herb soft drink. It literally just tastes fizzy, but better than fizzy water. It's just not, it's not just like fizzy water. It's almost got a slight hint of like a, a fruity type taste, but I guess it's herbs because it's a natural herb drink. But... Oh man, it's just... This is nothing. There's nothing to that. That's boring, man. At least, at least incite a reaction out me. Gents. <laughs> Austria, you've been very underwhelming so far. I thought these were good. Um, four out of ten. You're just getting a four. Not even middle of the road because you, you've annoyed me. It could just be middle of the road because it's fine, you could drink it. You just should never, ever, ever order it because it's it's weird and flavourless. But I'm going to about a four because it's angered me. It's pointless. So that's a four, a six and a four. <laughs> Let's hope Bobby. Hey Bobby, what's the Austrian for va va boom? Bobby. Uh, some classic Terrier V pack of this. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let's open this bad boy, which promises a lot. Caramel cream sprinkled with wheat rice crisps and coated milk chocolate. Sounds pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Bobby! Mmm. 
Hmm. If you like there, please focus on that. Thank you. It's almost like the the inside of a boost. Yeah, that's how I compare it to like the inside of a boost. But caramel infused, and surprisingly that makes it not as good as a boost. Because it's not as nice tasting. But overwhelming the caramel flavour. I don't know, can't explain it. But it is excellent. Right. If I was in a shop, sometimes I would buy a bobby. And that's pretty high compliment. Ah, that's your first decent one, Austria. Well done. Eight out of ten. An eight. That's that's good. Well done. Well done, Austria. You've you have pleased me with that final one. Um, we just wash that down with a Alma Dudler. More like an Alma Dudder. Probably it for today then, because of it. Um, yeah, the Not gonna lie, episode twenty, big old let down. A four, a six, a four, and then an eight to kind of save it at the end. But episode twenty is a let down. Maybe episode twenty five will be a big spectacular, and then episode fifty will be even bigger. Um, that's what we'll do to make up for episode twenty being a dud. Uh, also look up for a Christmas special in the next couple of weeks maybe uh, maybe release that just before Christmas that'd be pretty exciting right? Christmas special uh, I won't tell you what it is in fact I will it's going to be Christmas sandwiches oh the Alma Dudler is coming out to get me um, yeah we'll maybe review different Christmas sandwiches from the different supermarkets so look out for that hope you enjoy thanks for sticking around thanks for watching remember Bang, hit that like button. Bang, hit that subscribe button. That's right, I brought that back from like episode one. And share that new one. Share. Uh, and most of all, stay beautiful. Thank you. Bye.